Hello everybody, this is SP, also known as Mr. Google, and today I have recorded a video for the people playing Call of Duty Ghost on the PC to increase their performance uh, about 90%, maybe 100% for you. For me it's near 100%. It will reduce the mouse input lag and the acceleration issues I am having and a lot of other people's. If you are playing on console, I will place a link down in the description or on the video to go straight to the gameplay showing you guys this. If not, you're playing on PC, please follow these current steps. At first I'd like to clear out that you have your other settings fixed as intended. I'd like to start off that you guys also have your mouse sensitivity in Windows itself set to the middle. It's not in the middle of my screen at this moment. I accidentally moved it and then you have to uncheck the enhanced pointer precision. This turns your mouse acceleration off. If you have done so correctly, please continue to the next step, which is downloading the Mark C mouse acceleration fix. Let's go to this website. I will place links down in the description so you can scroll down below this video and use all the required links. Well, what this basically does, it removes a registry file in Windows 7 or 8 which will also diminish or remove most of the mouse acceleration issues. It could be true that not all of these steps are required but this is what I have done so far so I did like to include everything. So just to be clear, not all of these steps might be required and perhaps only the in-game settings would require to be enough. My next step is if you have a custom gaming mouse or something else, go to the specific software of your gaming mouse and please turn off acceleration over there. If it's possible, uh, apply your polling rate to 250Hz, that should be ideal, but because that's not possible with my mouse, I am using 500. I was using 1000, but I made it 500. It was the closest possible to 250Hz. The next step is go to your Steam, right click your Call of Duty Ghost, click on properties and disable the Steam community in game. This provides an overlay in your game which is causing problems. It disables you to use the Steam community. Let that be clear, but let's proceed to the next step. I have also provided a link down below the, in the description to the PCGamer.com community. Please walk through those steps, that might help as well. So now let's move on to probably one of the most important steps in this video. Please follow this link down in the description, download DxStory, it's a recording software, but we're not going to use it for that right now. And you might already have a program which does the same thing, but let's continue. Please install that, go to this link, also provided in the description, download the DLL file and before starting up the program, use that, copy and paste it in the di directory where you have installed this program. After you installed DxStory, start it up and you will have to wait 15 seconds or something because you downloaded it for free. It's also available for purchase, it's about 25 bucks or 28 euros. If you wish to do so, please support the developers. It's a really cool program and you can record videos with it. But let's get back to this video which is using this in your advantage for playing Call of Duty Ghost. Well, please go to this tab, go all the way down, check the limit video FPS which is limiting the frames per second for your video game which is running. And I have set this to 60 so the frames per second isn't bouncing from 90 to 18 frames per second but it's dropping a little bit off 60 and 60 is also the refresh rate of my monitor and probably your monitor. So for now let's continue to the in-game settings from Call of Duty Ghosts. First of all I'd like to say you have to go to video options, put your resolution which will match your screen which probably is the same as mine. I am using full screen but Windows without border is also working. I haven't noticed a difference with my way of fixing this game. First of all, it's very important to set your aspect ratio to your screen. You will have to google your type of monitor, but most monitors use the same aspect ratio as mine. Your screen refresh rate should probably already be on the correct hertz. 
sync every frame no image quality to extra or high depending on your video quality i recommend using high first changing to extra later if it still runs the same depth of field no screen space ambient occlusion off terrain detail off any subtropic filtering low distortion no anti-aliasing please set it to off you can change it to times two if you wish to do so later and you can check if it still runs okay but i have set it to off shadows to no and very important texture quality to manual then select your texture resolution put it on normal and put all the others on low it seems terrible but it actually doesn't seem to look like all that bad so far but i will deal with this to make it playable until they fix this if you don't trust me please see this gameplay this is my first gameplay going semi decent when i got it to work much better i've cut out a few parts so this video didn't last too long but it's still in the correct order and the timelines etc i just removed one or two deaths and a lot of walking so if this video helped you please let me know i want to thank all you guys for watching i've had so many views one month in youtube and i had about 12,000 views already in total on my channel it's incredible i've met a lot of nice people already a lot of people left me nice comments a lot of likes and subscribers but for now please enjoy this gameplay if you like to continue to watch this gameplay with the field of view change it that might be something you've thought about well that looks silly you can see more of the gun well that's because i have changed my field of view if you wish to see my previous video please do so all of my videos on my channel are not older than about 30 days so they're all pretty new in my opinion i would really like to ask if this helped you because for me and some other people i know this helped so much it disabled all the crappy lag and the stutterings and the acceleration on your mouse it's like writing with a pen and someone else is trying to move your pen it's so annoying in my opinion well at least i got it to work to a acceptable level for now i am really waiting for com the community or the developers in special of course the developers should fix this very soon i know pc gamers tend to hack more and they are with a lot less people than playing on console but for example 15% of the players play this on PC and the rest on console well 15% of a lot of players is still a lot of people so please don't forget the people playing this on their PC I for example did not own a console and still not own a console for a while just because I was stuck with the early 90s TV which could not be used with a console and for me i needed my pc for other stuff as well so after a while I, I kept on upgrading my pc and i had a fairly powerful pc it's not all that special but yeah i really enjoy playing on my pc and most of my friends have a pc and you should play what your friends also have so please enjoy this um the rest of this gameplay i am having way more fun than i used to at the start it does not fix the lag issues sometimes i run around the corner and even before i am around the corner someone else kills me i watch his kill cam and on his kill cam i was already around the corner well it was not the same thing on my screen i have a fairly quick or fast internet connection i have not had this issue on other games so that might be different for you but it does not seem to affect as much players um, I could give an example one of my friends is a fairly good Call of Duty player a really, in, a really nice in real life friend as well but he does not seem to have this problem as much there is one thing different about him and me he is using a wired connection and I am using a very fast Wi-Fi connection well there might be something different in the coding which allows people using an uh, internet cable instead of using a wifi adapter or the wifi on the motherboard to have uh, yeah less lag composition or something i 
we'll have to do some more testing but for now it runs more fluid and I am happy for now and I have good faith in the developers to fix this game if you really like this video please share like and subscribe to my channel I will have more future videos as soon as possible and I'm also thinking about giving away my old Logitech G9 laser mouse if this video helped you or you just enjoyed this video please share like and subscribe to my channel and I'll hope to see you next time have a nice day